God's story, recreation. So part of God's story is about when he recreates the world, and it begins like this. Remember the garden where the first humans, Adam and Eve, lived with God? It was a perfect world. Everybody joyful, included, safe, and loved. Lots of laughter, playing, and exploring. Basically, whatever we needed to be happy and comfortable, it was there. There was no such thing as sadness, or boredom, or pain, or hate, or death, or anything bad. Kids, can you imagine living in a world like that? Well, God promised to recreate another perfect world for his family, sometime in the future. It's really hard to understand what a perfect world would be like, since life can be full of hurt and disappointment. So God told us a little bit about it in the Bible, and even sent his angel to visit a man named John and show him, so John could write it down for us. We still can't picture it exactly, but God wants us to try to imagine it, and he wants us to get really, really excited. See, here's what the angel showed John. Jesus on a throne, a perfect king in a place with no hunger, no crime, no war, and millions of angels saying blessing and honor and glory and power belong to the one sitting on the throne. Everybody was excited about this king. John also saw a city coming down from heaven, bright with God's glory and sparkling with precious jewels like glitter. We don't know exactly how bright God's glory is, but it probably makes the sunniest day look cloudy. Don't worry though, you can't get a sunburn in the new world, partly because we might not need sun with God's glory, but also because there will be no pain. Anyway, this city had a wall with 12 pearl gates guarded by 12 angels. The wall was made of white jasper, and the city was pure gold, gold like glass. A crystal clear river will flow straight from the throne of God with water we can scoop up and drink whenever we want. And the water is special. When we drink it, we'll live forever. In fact, no people, animals, or plants will ever die in the new world. Now you may wonder what happens to all the people throughout history who chose to be in God's family but died before he recreated the world. Well, they'll come back to life and live forever in the perfect world too. And God promised us other stuff. For starters, he'll wipe away the tears from our eyes. He'll give us new bodies that don't hurt anywhere and don't get sick. There won't be any fear. We'll forget everything bad that happened to us on earth. Everybody there will be a part of God's family. And everyone will treat each other with love. Because when we see the amazing place God created for us, we'll finally understand just how much God has always loved us. And the best part? God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit will live there with us too. There are many other things God is waiting to surprise us with. And some things he told us, like world peace, no sunburns, and always being loved, are hard for us to imagine. But we can trust that God will keep his promise to recreate the world, and that this world will be wonderful and everyone who lives there will be filled with joy forever. And that's the story of recreation. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. The world used to be perfect. Now it's not. God promised to make it perfect again. God showed John the new world. Jesus will be on a throne. A glittering city will come down. The city will be perfect. We will live forever. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit will live with us. We will be filled with joy. And that's a part of God's story.